All right, you guys. Well, I'm, we're going to do something a little bit uh, different. And I, as I was saying that, I'm like, I say that every freaking show. <laughs> we're going to do things a little bit different tonight, guys. <laughs> it's like, or Are it's we exactly doing a the same. Ball filled right? with ladies. <laughs> Nothing will be that different. All right. Okay. So if you've never done this before, pull out something to draw with and something to draw on. I'm using Procreate, which is a nifty little uh, program for the iPad. Uh, use whatever you'd like to use. But all you need to do is just have something to draw with or something to draw on. So we're gonna start out tonight with a, um, just an oval right in the middle there, okay? And then... <laughs> I approve. <laughs> and then uh, from that oval, I'm gonna draw a circle that lines up with the one side of it. And this is one of the cool things about um, Procreate is if I... Oh, Keep it man. there, then it will give me a, a little bit of a Little's nicer circle. thing. Now what I'm going to do is That's I'm going to cool. draw um, four lines. And I'm going to use the circle that I just drew as the guidelines. So here's one. I'm just going to draw it using the oval shape behind as a guide. Here's number two. Okay. Number three. And number four. I've got four lines here, right? All right, now I'm going to draw, I don't know how to describe the shape, so just watch me do it and mm -hmm. do it just like this. Mm. Okay. And I'm gonna do another one over on this side. And I'm gonna get my little eraser out. And Helen's wondering if it's an Easter egg. I oh, guess we'll guess. find out, that's Helen, won't guess. we? <laughs> Long time fans probably already know what I'm drawing here. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna fill in the rest of this um, the shape that I did kind of like a real light guideline for this oval, and I'm just gonna fill in the uh, the outline a little bit tighter there. Okay. I don't think you fooled Paul Tracy. Oh, Paul's <laughs> on top of it. Okay, now in the very end, I'm gonna draw a little pointy thing sticking out mm. like this. I'm gonna color that in black, and then basically where that pointy thing is, I'm gonna color in this area also black then I'm gonna skip a line and I'm gonna color in this area black and then I'm gonna color this area in black and yes Paul you are correct we have a we've got a B we've got a B going here I've never drawn this one um, I never can't believe done this you haven't. Line. Barb no. called it. Suzanne called it. Okay. Yeah. So why well, I like to draw, Mike. you can draw whatever kind of a face you want to draw. What I really like is I, I do a little, I like that. And then I like to draw this little um, mm. kind of a carrot shape. And it, it's like he's winking. There's just something about a bee winking at you that's like, it's going to be okay. You know? <laughs> he's and not going to hurt you too bad. For his mouth, I like to draw a triangle mm. like this. And then I'll draw a line right here and color in the bottom. So he's got his little teeth and he's smiling because, you know, bees have teeth, as everyone ah, knows. Yes. And I got to tell you, I'm a, I'm a little bummed out by this, um, this wing. I want this wing to be a little bit bigger. Mike um, Schroeder said B plus. B plus. I like <laughs> it. All right. And then, um, then um, I'm going to do this it. lower layer here, which is kind of one of the nice things about this program is I can color underneath of it. Mm. And then I don't have to worry about what? getting these black lines messed up. Oh, that's cool. So I'm going to color this in with my cool little yellow color. And then I'm going to get a little lighter color. That's cool. I like that function. Yeah, it's pretty mm -hmm. handy. Yeah. Kids love it too. They get all excited. The worst is when you accidentally draw on the wrong layer though, and then you can't can't fix it. No. But it's that's just how it goes. Okay, fill that in. And then I'll color in his little eye and his little teeth, and you got this little Aww, bee. And then then the so part cute. that makes it like really uh, cool, I think, is in the message that you can put with it mm. where you can put um me. You know, we've got some uh, suggestions here in the, the comments. What do you got? Tara says That's it's going to, to be are. okay. Uh. Isn't that awesome? I love that. And Helen says, beware. Wow. You know, so these are, I like the new uh, takes on this. Oh, that looks really cute. Be, be optimistic. optimistic. So that's one version. Mm -hmm. And there's something about the, to me, the purple and the 
the like gold the go together good. Those are complementary colors. Mm -hmm. um, for those of you, a little little lesson. You've got red and blue make uh, purple, which is a secondary color, and it's on the opposite side of the uh, color wheel as yellow. So yellow. You know how I remember that too. yellow and purple are complementary colors is because of the Minnesota Vikings. I just think of jerseys. <sighs> <laughs> This is what I have to say about that. Gross! <laughs>